Hello my darlings, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So for this tutorial, we are going to celebrate the fact that fall has officially arrived. Yesterday was the first day of fall, so we're going to celebrate with this olive and bronze, sparkly, freckled, awesome tutorial. And yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure? Okay. Let's do this. Alright, starting up, I've already done all of this stuff. All of the details, as always, will be in the description box below. So for the eyes, we're going to always prime the eyelids first. I'm using Urban Decay's Enigma Primer and then blending that out with my fingers and making sure to apply a little bit to my lower lash line as well. And then once that's all blended out, we're going to take Lunatic Lab Cosmetics Mattifying Mystifying Powder. It's a translucent powder and we're setting that all over our eyes. First, we're going to go in with Makeup Geek's Preppy Eyeshadow and a fluffy tapered blending brush and we're going to buff that all into the crease. It's going to be our first crease color and then we're going to build on it. So we're just going to blend, blend, blend. And then we're going to go in with Makeup Geek High Tea Eyeshadow and a pointed tapered blending brush and apply that closer in the crease and not blend out as much. And then after that we're going in with the Sage Shade and Light Quad from Kat Von D and using the dark green color we're going to take a pointed pencil brush and apply that directly into the crease. Now when you're doing this you may need to look either into a mirror by looking down if you have deep set eyes or if you have hooded eyes you can look up and see where you want to create your false crease. Then we're going to take the pointed tapered blending brush and kind of merge those two together because blend blend blend. And then after that we're going to go in with Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Color in Gilt and we're going to use this as a base for our eyeshadow so we're going to lay this all over the eyelid and we're going to take a lip slash concealer brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to carve out that crease so it looks a little bit neater. Then we're going back in with the Makeup Geek color, and this is the Duochrome in Typhoon. I'm going to apply that to the outer V of my eye with a C-shaped petal brush, and then we're going back in with that Sage color, and we're going to marry those two greens together. So it's going to connect up into the crease, and I'm actually going to create a little wing. So. Yeah. After that, I'm going to apply M Violent Maiden's Miriam shadow all over the lid where we put guilt down, and I'm going to foil that shadow just to make it a little bit more intense. And then we're going in with Preppy on the lower lash line, and I'm basically taking that from the outer corner to the inner corner. Now for the rest of the lid, I'm going to apply Lit Cosmetics Addicted with Silver Liquid Metal Glitter Thingy with the brush that it came with in the lit kit all over my lid on top of the golden color that we already laid down. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of the product to my finger and use that to blend into the green typhoon color on the outer part of my eye. I find that that just helps with blending. And then I'm going to go in with typhoon again and just kind of do a little touch up wherever I need to and blend because you can never blend too much. After that, I'm going to type line my eyes off camera with the Aqua XL M10 liner. And then I'm going to take Kat Von D's ink liner in Mikowski and create a very fine eyeliner on my lash line. And then I'm taking Urban Decay's Zodiac eye pencil on my waterline off camera. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply Urban Decay Perversion Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And that completes the eye look. So now for the face, we're going to take the Becca Cosmetics Mineral Blush in Flower Child. And I'm going to blush the ever-loving Dickens out of my face. Because today was apparently a very, very blushy, blushy day. So I applied all the blush to my face, because I can. And then I'm going in with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil 
bronzer on that same brush and I'm going to bronze the lower cheekbone area of my face and then I'm going to apply just a little bit to the bridge of my nose to give a sun-kissed effect. I really like this version of how I do things. It just, yeah. Then for highlighter, I'm going in with the Moonchild Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Lucky Clover and I'm going to coat the higher points of my face and then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Locket Edge Brush and that same color and I'm going to apply it right above or right below my brow bone and the Cupid's Bow. This brush is perfect for applying highlighter to the Cupid's Bow. So if you haven't done it already and you have the brush, do, do the thing. It's awesome. Next, I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to line my lips off camera with ColourPop's Pitch Lip Pencil. And then I'm going to apply Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar in Derelict. I don't know, it's derelict, but I like to say derelict because Zoolander. I'm going to apply that over top, and I really like how these two colors look with each other. Now, if you don't have the Pitch Lippy Stick, you can also use Black Metal Dahlia from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. But yeah. I, I just, I like this color combination. So after that, I am going to go in and I am going to touch up a couple of my freckles. Now, before I started filming, I did do the base part of my face, including my base freckles, which I use alcohol ink and a toothbrush. I will do a full tutorial if you want me to do it on how to create fake freckles because I have like three or four different ways how I do this. But to create more larger freckles and vary the color a little bit, I'm using the brow tattoo pens from Kat Von D in blonde and light brown and just randomly dotting my face wherever I think I need more freckles because freckles are multicolored. So yeah. After that, the face is done and I'm gonna set it with Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm going to be very generous with this. And then to help it set a little bit faster, I'm going to use my trusty fancy fan. It's my number one fan. <laughs> Did it. And yeah. That's it, guys. That is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I put out new videos every Friday with sporadic videos throughout the week and be sure to stay tuned because October is going to be amazing. So yeah. Oh, and if you do recreate this look, be sure to tag me on Instagram or social media. I am at OJ Chaos pretty much everywhere and I'd love to see your work. So yeah. As always, I make sure to list all of the details in the description box below as well as putting info in the info cards and I always have a buddy post to go with my video tutorials. Know that I think you are awesome and I love you guys so 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 much. I hope you guys have an awesome morning, noon, or night depending on what times you're watching this and yeah. Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome. Oh look, there's two more tutorials you can check out. Okay, bye. You want some bloopers? Okay, here's some bloopers.